The minister toured the Christchurch facility accompanied by his permanent secretary. He says it has many attractions for Barbadians and tourists and can also provide learning opportunities for children. Certainly, um, I'm interested in the herbadizing of the goats and indeed I like to see the species of bird that we have here so that Barbadians can also have an opportunity to see what can be done and have an appreciation for wildlife as well. Now where we live, we don't really have wildlife in Barbados. So uh, even though this is in a controlled environment, it actually gives us an opportunity for our school children to be able to come and learn more about wildlife. And then it gives us an opportunity to create another tourist attraction as well. Owner and Managing Director Mitchell Hurd says the project started nearly 10 years ago. We, we started the project in 2015 with the intention of um, converting the, the derelict Ocean Park Aquarium property into a new visitor attraction that, that combined um, agriculture and a, a working farm with exotic animals and a botanical garden. Um, with the intention of being able to provide a, a fun but educational opportunity specifically for Barbadian families um, to come and learn and see firsthand a lot of these animals and I, I guess develop a, a passion for the natural world and, and learn more about it. Mr. Hurd, who's also a biologist, says crossbreeding the existing animal stock in Barbados with imported species augurs well for the future of agriculture in Barbados. I guess we hope that um, it's something that not just we can be proud of, but also Barbadians can be proud of to have here. Um, and more importantly, I think that it allows them to see some new breeds of animals, and especially some of the newer breeds of agricultural animals that have been brought into Barbados that have a tremendous future potential for, for kind of agricultural production. Um, and yeah, hybridizing with local varieties and um, kind of optimizing productivity of the farming sector. Further development of the facility is on the cards, including the creation of a fruit forest. Trevor Thorpe, CBC News.